What's up, I'm Kyle, and this is The Vervet Forest, season two, episode number five. On today's episode, we receive three new orphan baby vervet monkeys, a very little girl named Dixie, another little girl named Foxy, and an orphan in critical care named Paloma. Also, please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Remember to watch through the advertisements during the videos because those help us to earn money. And if you would like to donate to the Vervet Monkey Foundation, buy some t-shirts like this one, or hoodies, or if you'd like to volunteer at the Vervet Monkey Foundation, or you'd like to become a patron to help me continue to make these videos, then head on over to the description below the video because all the links that you need are right down there and also in the pinned comment at the top of the comments. All right, let's get into the episode. To fetch a monkey that they got you. Okay. We're at a place called Mahola Hola, which is a uh, wildlife rehabilitation center near a town called Hoodsprit. And uh, they've got a baby monkey. They called us up, asked if we wanted to come by tomorrow morning, but instead Dave said, hell no. We're coming by today. <laughs> there. Not cool. We'll see what state this baby is in and take her on back. It's about a two hour drive from the VMF to here, an hour and a half. Here they come. I don't know how they're gonna get this monkey through this fence, but they'll probably throw just, over the top. that's what I was thinking, throw it over the top. You know a little bit about the story of what happened? of the road on his own and um, they tried to look out for mum for a long time um, a little tiny one. but they had no no sign of mum around um, and he I don't know if he was laying in the sun because when he came in it like he was like almost dead almost like in a way really so dehydrated. flat very dehydrated so last night Dave and I picked up that new little girl who's like a couple of days old. I mean, she can barely keep her eyes open. The whole car ride back, I was syringe feeding her constantly. She went through like four and a half syringes of Rehi, which is just a ton. And Tori said she was up like all night long, just needing to be fed every 15 minutes or so. Um, so yeah, she's super young. We just picked her up. And now, of course, the next morning, like nine o'clock right now, 9.30. And uh, Dave went to town to take his car to the mechanic. And what does he come back with? Another baby monkey. This one apparently, its mom was killed by dogs. Um, but it's just, this is out of control. It's been like two weeks since we received our first orphan. And this is already number six. <laughs> Two thirty-five, you tiny little nugget. Look at you. You're using your back foot as your front arm, and your front arm doesn't know what to do. Daddy said it won't sink today. <laughs> Daddy gonna sleep. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Don't worry. Oh, She's okay. Really? Can you pass me a toilet? <laughs> it's your bag. Shh. 
You're okay. She so knew her like fingers were still peeling yesterday. Really? <laughs> she just doesn't have a clue. Anything. Hi. Oh shush. You're a too cute monkey. Dude, don't forget to breathe. Concentrate. Concentrate. No, concentrate. Concentrate. I think that's up there with my top three phrases said to babies. Stop it. Concentrate. And? And why have you got poop on your head? <laughs> Hello, babies. You sit over there while I do the thing I'm not supposed to do. No, don't come over here. <laughs> Hi. Bye. Are you hiding from Scary Man? He's chewing gum. Yeah, his gums. <laughs> the day after Foxy arrived, while Dixie, Paco, and Foxy were all hanging out in the baby cabin, Dave got a call from a local farmer who said that his dog had brought him an injured monkey. So we rushed over to a gas station nearby and met the man in the parking lot. You know what? I haven't got a lot to. Well, I'm to glad put about that. Yeah. But cold. And, and you know what, whenever you want to come and make the impact study, yeah, by, oh, monkey, oh, oh, oh. by all means, you know what, I've got leeches of macadamia. Yeah. They cause me a lot of problems. No, I'll come and have a look now. Um, because yeah. the thing is, these guys love, you know that green um, stink bug? Yeah, yeah. It's one of their favorite foods. Okay, well, but, so, but, but, they, but, so they yeah. love eating that stink yeah, bug. But so. At the end of the day, the yeah. stink bug I can spray. Yeah. But the RPs yeah. I can't spray. <laughs> Alright, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me get this guy's dirty water. Okay, thanks, guys. He's not in a very good way. No. We can just pull some of this up. Do you see any punctures? I've got wind on his head, yeah, but yeah, I don't I know what detail it is. Yeah. I don't know what. 
Man, he's got blood coming out of his ear, too. Yeah, very pale. Can you just try to keep him as warm here? Yeah. We'll see how it's going. The dude said his dog brought it into the house. Hi. Okay, well that's good. The blood's not from her brain, it's from the inside of her ear. Yeah, that's a good start. It's looking for broken ribs. Yeah. Seems like she might have just been out there for a while. And then yeah. Got found by the dog. Hi. What on earth happened to you? So that's just iodine that Tori's rubbing on the wounds. Clean her up, disinfect. You gotta do the rest, bub. <laughs> 